Hello everyone and welcome to another Trek Guide video and today we got Autopolis in group 4 and for this video I just chose to go with the Shiroko and of course here you gotta use the FF car and I think the apparent reason is because it can really turn a little bit better than the RCZ but I think you can also use the RCZ and by the way I got into top 10 here but without further ado let's get going. So let's start with this one and as usual try to get the widest possible entry in the last corner so it can give you a little bit more speed and rev up the car in fifth gear. But the first braking point is this 100 meter sign and it's a pretty good reference here so braking just slightly after the 100 meter sign and you see the marks on the road. This is where I usually start steering into the corner and as soon as I get on the road off the curb there I start applying the throttle in third gear and really revving up that third gear and into Ford. I was slightly behind my fastest lap at that time but it was in the end okay. So now I'm just looking at the gap and breaking slightly after the gap and as you can see somewhere in between the 50 meter sign and the gap there. Release the brakes otherwise you will not be able to steer into the corner and a quick change of direction here. So again releasing the brakes letting the car coast it's the best way just to get the car to turn in a little bit quicker than usual and stay in the third gear rev it up until you see this end of the curb there. So uh, I usually start to brake a little bit earlier so a little bit earlier than the end of the curb there so I can get a little bit wider entry into this apex so maybe a maybe a just slightly better exit and rev up the car in second and third gear and here look for the curb so when the curb starts you start to steer into the corner get as close as possible to the other curb on the left hand side and usually my reference here is this kind of a marshall's box i guess so slightly before it i put the power down even you know even if you start going a little bit wide it's not a problem as long as you carry the speed and you carry the momentum but still i was a little bit behind my fastest time like one one and a half tenths maybe even more but in the end i got a good time so breaking here in between those two marks breaking in the straight line looking for the beginning of the curb there and this is the point when i start to steer in the corner downshift in the second gear and slowly start to apply the throttle you can see here already going in as soon as i get off the curb there i put it down in third gear and really really put the power down so at, yeah again i was slightly i was slightly slower than my fastest time at this point but in the end it was better so here before the 50 sign you have this pole when that pole comes out of sight then you start to, I mean, that you start to brake and slowly reducing the braking pressure or just trail braking into the apex. And here I just went a little bit wide, but I think it actually helped me just to get a wider possible, uh, possibly the widest possible entry into this late apex and really reducing, uh, kind of playing with the throttle actually up to 50%. And just before this curb, maybe 30 meters, 30, 40 meters before this curb, I start to brake and it's all about trail braking but I mean nothing more than a half a second on the brakes otherwise the car just starts to slide and you don't really want that and again playing with the throttle up to 50% carrying it up to 50% until you straighten the car up and then you have this kind of a mark on the curb usually when I get up to this curb I reduce my braking sorry it reduced my throttle up to 50% I would say 50% and as soon as I get off the curb on the left I put the power down and again this is my steering input here so immediately starting to steer into the corner and you see the curb there slight I mean just slight tap on the brakes nothing more than 10 to 20 percent that's more than enough just to get the car rotated and this is what I'm usually looking for to put my power down so this gap and as soon as I pass the gap or maybe slightly before that I put the power down entered wait until it really revs up just slightly and put the car in fourth gear and we're gonna cross the finish line in 151 5 for row which was again really good and I think it was a really decent time but there is a slight possibility of getting an even quicker lap time so guys if you enjoyed this one please smash that like button and also, yeah as usual subscribe to the channel and for the ones who already haven't seen my website go there and I'm offering my coaching so yeah just just give it a look and by the way thank you for watching again and I'll catch you guys next time bye